Billy. And together with Fuji guys. Fuji guys. Hey, we're on location today because we're going to show you how to take great pictures of newborn babies. Uh, newborn babies, it's the greatest event in everyone's life. It's when they take the most pictures. Uh, and often enough, because these babies just don't do too much, I mean, they don't move, they, you know, they don't tell you, they, they don't do what you tell them to Other do Other than yet. crying, baby. Other than <laughs> crying, yeah. <laughs> crying, eating, and you know, what else. So, uh, we're going to give you some tips on how to get the best uh, pictures. One of the first tips that I guess you've got to say is that if you're there with your baby, particularly you young mums, if you're at home with the baby alone, always have your camera ready. And you know, the other, the, the other advice is buy the best camera you can. These are going to be the best pictures. Uh, I know Billy, uh, it's often the ones that people enlarge the most. And, and just make sure you have the best camera you can afford. These are the, the most precious moments you'll ever experience in your own picture taking uh, experience. So, uh, with that, um, I want to say when I take pictures of babies, I really, really prefer to shoot with available light as opposed to flash. So do I, Greg. You do? Why do you like yeah, it's that? Just, it, it just makes the picture a lot better in terms of getting you know, the ambient lighting in the room. And the room that we have here is just perfect with natural light coming in. And it gives that nicer skin tone too that I find. Yeah. There's something about the image that just looks a lot better than just harsh lighting coming off from a flash. Yeah, the flash, it really flattens out the subject. You sometimes get red eye. You get, you shadow. get bad shadows. It sometimes washes out skin. So. We talk about that over and over. Um, it is great if you can, and if you do have a nice room like this where the window is, uh, is bringing some available light in, uh, nothing like it. Um, also, when you do use that flash with a, uh, the younger babies, you know, it's a little bit distracting to them. They, they can't figure it out. Sometimes yeah. they keep their eyes closed because they're afraid of this flash after a while if they start learning about it. And uh, really, just available light is, generally speaking, a more flattering type of light. So when you want to get the, a picture of your baby and you want it to look good, I, you know, that's, that's what that's most people want. That's great tip, just finding the, light. finding the right place to shoot, right? Mm -hmm. So, good. perfect. Also, a lot of these cameras make a lot of beeps and everything like that. I know that when I'm trying to take pictures of, uh, you know, a sleeping baby or something and capture a moment, uh, the camera often spoils it with the beeps and bells and whistles. Wh right. What can we do about that? Uh, well, you know, most cameras you can actually turn off the sound. Um, if you go into the menu system, the setup, you, I'm sure you can turn off all the sounds, all the, the lights that might be uh, emitting out, whether it's an AF assist lamp or even LEDs that blink for self timers. But on some of the Fuji cameras, just by holding down the display button for at least four or five seconds, it automatically switches to the silent mode that does that automatically. It turns for you. off all the bells and whistles. That's so right. I love that. So one of the most important tips and things we have to talk to you about when taking pictures of these newborn babies is really the composition. That's right. And I mean, this goes, this topic goes all over the place, but some of the, you know, the number one thing would take as many photos as you can. Um, not only composition wise, vertical, horizontal, um, you know, different I, angles, different angles. Uh, I think one of the biggest mistakes is always shooting down to the mm -hmm. baby because they, they might be down on a couch or down on the bed or what have you. Try to get down to the level or bring the baby up to the level of That's the right. camera and you generally get a little bit more um, shooting with different film types. Our cameras you can change to black and white and even sepia tone for that kind of old fashioned look. I love shooting, especially in available light, the mm -hmm. black and white pictures of newborn babies. They look um, timeless for sure. So. Yeah. So what about using the macro setting uh, to get close to the baby? Because I mean, you know, these babies are small mm -hmm. and, and you know, if you just are just a few feet away from them, you're not even getting a shot of just their head. So what's a good way to deal with that? Well, you know, you know, first of all, the macro mode is a great mode to shoot in, period. That's a good tip right there. Just you get very sharp images, whether you're taking pictures of, a, of, of you know, the baby's feet, or hands, or eyes, anything like that you want to get close up. But also you can use macro in some cameras in the telephoto side mm. of it, where you actually don't physically have to be right in front of the baby so you don't disturb the baby. Okay. And also uh, you can get, you know, with, with the telephoto option, of it, a, a shallower depth of field to get that softer right. background, so, which is a so benefit the, of the having... The baby is sharp, but right behind it is right. kind of fo out of focus and fuzzy. And uh, also when you're just a little bit further away from the baby, if there is that nice available light, you're not blocking it and, and casting a shadow. shadow. So right. you can kind of just stand out of the way of the light. Yeah, so those are actually great tips. And just to run down them, always have your camera ready. Buy the best camera you can. 
uh, try to shoot in available light wherever possible. Which means turning off the flash and not using the flash. Right, exactly. And uh, maybe uh, turning the camera into a silent mode so that you have, you know, full stealth mode going with the camera. And with respect to composition, take as many pictures and from as many angles, even shooting black and white in That's color. Right. And uh, using that macro, especially the telephoto macro, is a great way to get the most detailed, flattering pictures of your baby. So I think those are great tips now. You know, the best thing would be right now if we only had a baby right. that we could actually try some of these things out with. So maybe if you hold your hands a certain way and something might happen here. I don't know, Greg. There we go, let's see. Oh my goodness, we do have a baby. Well, that, wow. was, that was pretty good. Well, this is beautiful three week old Julianne, Billy's baby. And how convenient when we're doing a baby video and I have my camera, just like we told everyone out there. So what I'm gonna do, Billy, is I'm just gonna start off. I'm gonna put it into silent mode here. Perfect. I'm gonna turn my flash off so I can get some beautiful available light pictures. And uh, I don't even need you to get you to move because I'm gonna move around myself. I'm gonna get some nice angles. I'm gonna hold the camera as steady as I can right now. I'm gonna get some with baby and dad in it. And I'm going to use the macro setting as uh, we talked about a little bit earlier so I can get in real close and get even some of those beautiful detailed close-ups of just her eyes and things like that. Now I'm going to switch it over to some black and white because I love shooting in black and white. Mentioned that in the video. But just knowing your cameras, how to switch from mode to mode is great to have. Exactly. Okay. Play around with it. When the moment comes with your baby and okay. you, don't, you don't know how to use the camera settings, okay. it could be too late. But right now, I can just tell you, I've got some great pictures of Billy and Julianne here. I love shooting in this macro in the black and white mode. And there we go. Well, that was a great treat having an actual baby here when we're giving you photo tips, eh, Billy? Yep. So we're going to sign off and uh, I think we have one more person that's going to be a Fuji guy. I'm Greg. <laughs> and I'm Billy. And this is Julianne. And we're the Fuji guys. Fuji guys. <laughs> All right. <laughs>